Um, my time zone is negative 700. Mountain time. And the clock, what, it's like 5 something. 622. And that's it next, and now it's going to finish up this. Very easy to do, we're almost done here. Just two more things, make sure you have your install some disk that you got when you first bought your Mac, because you're going to need that for your drive. Alright, so once it starts up like this, um, you're gonna have to eject that disk that's in your computer right now. And the eject button is not gonna work, so you have to go start, go to computer, right click on here, and or just click on it, and up top it says eject, hit that. And then it will pop right out. Now you grab your Mac OS S Windows install disk and pop that in there. <coughs> and we're pretty much done. All we're doing now is installing our drivers. After that, Windows 7 is totally up to you. Pretty much it's like I just bought a Windows computer even though I just bought a Mac. Hit run setup. And then hit yes. Windows 7 still has like the Vista safety commands where those things always pop up all the time. It, it's kind of annoying sometimes, but in a way, it's somewhat helpful. A lot of times I found in Vista to be really annoying. So it's going to install your drivers. Alright, so once that's all done, you just hit finish. It'll restart your computer. Hit yes. And it'll log off for you. That took 10 minutes, the whole install to progress. So, that's it. And we're not completely done yet. This one last small thing. I should could have done it before we started my computer, but I didn't. I'll show you really quick. All right, now probably what you just noticed is how after you do that, it started up as Windows and did not start up as a regular Mac OS X. Now you can hold the Option key to have the as soon as you hear that chime, hold the option key and it'll give you the option to either open up your Mac or Windows. But you probably don't want to do that every time, right? And Windows probably is not your primary thing since how you did buy a Mac. So go to control panel. Up here in your search command here, type in boot camp. Right there, hit click on boot camp. Hit yes. Now, here you can select the system you want to start up, right? So Mac, and then you hit apply, then okay. <coughs> and now you're done. Now you officially have Windows 7 on your computer. Right here, it's a neat little dock here. It's kind of, kind of has like the Mac feel to it. Uh, it's not, it's kind of company, but not really in a way it is. It's pretty smart. And see, as you can hold it, you can open up more than one, see what's open to that. <coughs> Something Mac doesn't have, and I really like that. There's other things where you can just, as well as bring this right up to the top, and bam, full screen. There are apps you could get like that for the Mac, but having that is awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching Ice Legit Video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. 
give me five stars, you know, good comments, you need help, uh, message me, let me know. I'm really good at getting back on messages. Um, I do get a lot of friend requests on Xbox Live from other games. Same with PS3. I do add on PS3 because I really don't care. I never go on my PS3 that often. I did earlier because I didn't have my computer. <coughs> and I would use my iPhone and that. <coughs> I'm sick. Um, I'm really sick right now. Also on the Xbox, whenever you guys send me friend requests, I always ignore them. Just because I have a lot of friends and I don't really play with everybody, right? Um, anyway, thanks for watching my video. Rate, comment, subscribe. <coughs> hey guys, got one more thing before I end this video. Now, as soon as you uh, get up for this, as you've seen before, when I was in, I was opening up my the internet browser just recently and I went and it couldn't connect to the internet, right? <laughs> And that's because I'm on Wi-Fi. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys won't have it if you guys are around the late January watching this pretty recently. Um, my bad for the shaky camera. I'm going to use my tripod right now. It took me a while to figure this out too. And it just drives me insane because I couldn't use my Wi-Fi. I went onto the Mac OS. I downloaded like the Boot Camp 3.1 version, which I heard just came out. And it wouldn't install, so came on here. Now, what you have to do is you have to get take an Ethernet cord and go to your power, your network, supply your router, hook it up so you got your internet, and then you have to go to start here, hit Apple Software Update. That's all you have to do, and it'll just do it. I didn't even see that till like after I was done doing what I was doing. I went all the way on to apple.com, it was just a big mess, and we make it nice and simple, after you restart your computer and that, go in here, install that update, that bootcamp 3.1, if you already have 3.1, don't worry about it, update the newer, newest one, 3.2 or 4, whatever version's out right now, currently it's 3.1, and then after you update that, it'll give you your Wi-Fi drivers so you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. That's it.